welcome back guys this is the second part of the custom prompt dialog let's continue our design okay let me add the script here and I want to define this method validate number validate number so here you will get the number as an argument and what I'm going to do here is usually this prompt dialog will return the number which is entered in the input 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 element input box if nothing is entered it will simply return the null so what I'm checking here is if the number is not equal to null you can do your operation let me define a variable here message so if the number is equal to null it will come to the else part so I'm setting the message you cancelled the action any message and we need to ensure whether the entered input is number so what we can do is is nan is not a number this method will return true if it is not a number okay so messages the input is not the valid number if it comes to the else part which means this is the valid number so what we can do is message if the number can be divided by 2 which means this is an even number otherwise it's a sorry otherwise it's a odd number okay now we are done with this and finally we need to add this message into the document document dot get element by id okay we need to have some container to show this message let's add it here result text content equal to message let's test this first okay I'm simply cancelling it so yes you cancel the action and simply giving some random input the input is not a valid number and I'm giving two year even number fine sorry nine so it's an odd number yeah it's working fine now this is a time to add our custom form dialog let's write a script where custom prompt so this is an object and this dot show so this method is just to show the prompt dialog so what we need to do is I'm just getting the element just dialog dot because in the styles I'm setting top to minus 30 percentage so in the JS code I'm setting 30 percentage positive so what will happen is this dialog will be visible now and I need to set the opacity also so the opacity in the styles is CSS styles is 0 I need to set 1 here and I need to set the dialog message also the message will be the argument here 
message and it will provide me the callback method also let me explain what is the callback method and dialog message is so you can get it from dialog itself query selector the element name is dialog message okay don't forget to give this ash dialog message dot text content equal to the message and what we need to do is anything else yeah and by default it should focus the uh, dialog input element so we need to get this element I'm writing here okay this dialog input element equal to so this method this this dialog input element can be accessed from another method also so I'm writing at the outside and dialog input element dot value okay let me remove this line so we can see what happens if I not using that line and by default we want the focus so I'm just setting the focus here and I just want to store the reference of the callback method I'll tell you why why I'm using callback so when you pressed OK button the callback method should be called so let's add the on click event here custom prompt dot show the same message enter any number and we need to send the callback method so here we call the method directly here what we are doing is here we are just sending the reference of the method to be called that is the difference between this default prompt and custom prompt okay let's test it directly without doing anything okay something is wrong maybe some script error okay style of null which line it's coming yeah it's wrong we should use the id yeah it's working but the ok and cancel will not work because we didn't add any action let's add it quickly prompt dot ok and let me copy this and paste it here instead of ok I need to call the cancel method so in ok in ok I just need to call the callback method with the param so dialog input element dot value and the dialog should be closed okay and cancel
cancel should also call the callback method with the value null and the dialog should be closed so we need we need to write the close method here in close I'm doing the reverse of this same operation Mine instead of 30 percentage it should be minus 30 percentage actually in this method we forgot to show the freeze layer so let me add it here it should be hidden so dialog dot style display equal to empty so this will show the freeze layer okay instead of this what I'm going to do here is I'm just copy this oh sorry so this will show the freeze layer and here I'm going to hide the freeze layer hope everything is done let's test it okay we are getting message like you cancelled the action even before the action even before we cancel the action so let's see this as of now I am giving this value callback okay some some mistake is there callback is not a function whoops what happened okay we should store the reference we should not call the method here I'm just giving some value here okay it's working properly the input is not a valid number what happens is when I press it again it will come with the old value for that only I just set the value to empty here so let's test it now custom prompt okay I'm giving two here even number so this is cleared now so I can give one it's our number and I can give some random text not a valid number and I just simply cancel it so I'm getting the cancelled action method message okay guys thanks for watching this video this is how you can develop your custom prompt dialog in JavaScript you can subscribe to me to learn more JavaScript techniques and you can find the source code of this custom prompt dialog in the description area if you have any questions you can ask that in the below comment section thanks for watching this video bye bye